Well, the problem was we had small courses, not enough students, so it was too expensive to pay a teacher. The other schools also had the same problem for some of the same courses. So we wanted to bring together three different groups from different schools into one virtual classroom. We had the experience from COVID time that you can sort of teach through systems like Zoom or Team, but you don't really come across to the other students. And even worse, the students don't see each other. The idea was that you would have the teacher in front of you and you would have other classes through screens on the side. To make it immersive, that's why it became hexagonal. What I'd forgotten is that if you have just one image from the teacher, one camera point going to different locations, then everybody thinks that the teacher is looking at them. You can compare it with 20 team connections. And doing that with teams, you know, it doesn't feel natural. And we realized that this is not going to work. Because if you're teaching different groups, you want to look at the different groups. We had to define the company that could do this. We tried to solve this uh, in a system where the pictures are brilliant and the sound is spot on on every location at the same time. The setup we created consists of five screens, ceiling microphones, uh, net gear switches, special cameras. There are 24 connections between three locations at the same time where all the data and all the information is going through. This was a complex uh, situation. We hadn't quite realized, but if you want to do this really immersive and real, realistic, you need, for example, to have a latency of, of you know, only a few milliseconds. So what are you going to use as a technology to make it work? We got to know Dante AV uh, fairly well, and all the questions in my mind with, in this case, NDI, uh, were checked with uh, Dante AV. So I said, well, have you considered Dante Video? I said, uh, Dante Video, does that exist? Yes, it exists. It is new and it is great. You have one single point of reference where you can sync your audio and your video, and you know for sure that on the other end, it's going to look good. And then Dante V also gives you the tools to play around with your bandwidth consumption. And then all the network issues disappeared. When they came to us, I immediately thought about this box. Based on ordinary technology, obviously, depending on the role you wanted to play, it is a transmitter or a receiver. And in this box, you have your HDCP coverage, you have your power over Ethernet covered, you have HDMI in and out. This is for us the, the magic box. It's magnificent because um, it's in real time, so there's no delay whatsoever. And that's one of the biggest issues that you could have with a video feed, that there's a single split second of delay that could ruin the entire experience. You would need the camera in front of the screen, which is extremely unusual to have, because otherwise you wouldn't be actually looking at people. Be able to be very small with a good quality uh, and a wide angle shot uh, to get the real connection in the same level. We have now these different camera screen connections from the teacher to the students, but there is also between the students. That's the real innovation, I think. That's the, by far the most important thing. That I can teach and see them, which that's fine. And they can see me and that, that's great. But students that I'm teaching, for them it's far more important that they see each other. You don't do this every day, of course. But I think it's very cool because you see other children in other schools. And I like it, actually. Audio, of course, is very important as well. So there's a large array of microphones on the ceiling and they can pick up sound from anywhere where you like. If students see me through one screen, that my voice should come from that screen, whereas if I move to another screen, they should hear my voice coming from that. For, for the teachers, they have to teach. They should not be a technology technician. They should simply use it without thinking. In this case, the control system is crucial to make it extremely easy to use for the user. And this control system is being channeled and managed by Dante Domain Manager. It's a really easy system. Then you uh, select the two other locations, up to four other locations you want to have joined in, and then you wait. It's just tap, 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 and everything just comes on. We want technology without being aware of technology. And that's basically the goal we have reached. All these different disciplines working together to bring the same uh, vision to life. It simply works, man. Close to perfect.